T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Vehicle is pitching down range. Engine chamber pressure is nominal. So at T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4E and throttled down to prepare for Max Q at T plus one minute. And Max Q is the moment in flight with the highest amount of aerodynamic pressure and stress on the vehicle. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Max Q. There we just had Max Q. So with that call out, we now have three events coming up in quick succession, starting with Nico, followed by Stage Step, and then SES-1. Miko, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine M1D engines shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first and second stages separate from one another. Then we'll be then stage two will continue to second engine start one or SES one. And that is where the single MVAC engine lights up and propels the second stage to MVAC orbit. Kill. In addition to these three major events, the fairing halves will separate less than a minute after SES one. So keep an eye out for all of those events. Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. In around 30 seconds from now. And as a reminder, we will not have any stage two views of separation at the request of our customer. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And we have confirmation of main engine cutoff and stage separation. MVAC SES1 startup. coming up in a few seconds. There it is. We are expecting to hear the call out for fairing separation in a couple seconds from now, but we won't see this. We will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves once they fall back down to Earth using our recovery ship, Go Beyond. Fairing separation confirmed. And we just confirmed fairing separation. And you also heard and maybe even saw those three events that happened back to back, which again were Miko, stage separation, SES-1, followed about 30 seconds later by fairing separation. We'll be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today back on Earth with our recovery vessel, Go Beyond. And coming up in about three minutes from now, the booster will initiate its entry burn Both to begin its journey nominal trajectories. to the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship that is currently in the Pacific Ocean. Great call out there. We're just at T plus four and a half minutes into today's mission and just past the T plus six minute mark, you should see on your screen the first stage's entry burn. So to start the entry burn, we will relight three of our M1D engines, engines one, five, and nine, 
um, which is similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow it down to reduce the reentry forces, which then helps us recover and reuse the first stage. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we're still moving really fast. And this causes the rocket to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, which is also known as a plume, and that deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle. And that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, and with each flight, that soot continues to build up on the outside of the vehicle. That entry burn should be coming up in about 20 seconds from now. Stage one entry burn startup. So entry burn has begun and we have lit engines one, five, and nine to slow down the vehicle. Stage one entry burn shut down. And we just completed our entry burn. And coming up next in about a minute will be landing burn. Stage one, FTS has saved. The Merlins on the first stage are optimized for Both sea level. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And these achieve around 190,000 pounds of thrust each during ascent and descent. And for landing burn, we use just one of these, engine nine, to slow the vehicle down just before touching down on our drone ship. Stage one transonic. But coming up next, Stage we'll shut two, down. FTS is saved. We'll shut down our MVAC engine on the second stage, which will be followed quickly by our landing burn on the first stage. Stage one landing burn. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. An awesome stage two has entered terminal guidance. An awesome view of our stage one that has now landed back on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. This was the 16th launch and landing for this first stage. And this landing marks SpaceX's 310th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy.